recording. And let's see how far we get. First, let's go to load. Let's get rid of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello everybody, it's Dead Linux. I know it's been a long time since I've been posting videos, but I've been trying to get into working in Linux, and I've also been traveling a lot, and we also had the holiday season in the middle there, and all those things lead up to basically not having enough time to do videos, but I have increased my my video editing capabilities. There was the Camtasia sale on Steam, and, um, not sale, they've released Camtasia on Steam for a subscription, and that's what I use for work, so I figure um, if I use it at home and I use it at work, that's probably a good combination there, so hopefully we'll see. Now, unfortunately, it does not run in Linux, and I am currently running in Linux. Now, I know that might be hard to prove, um, unless I can somehow bring that up in the, in the blah, blah, blah. Um, there might be something saying it here. Um, is there an about or a controls or something? Um, it's got my monitor, windowed full screen. Um, dang it. Uh, it's not really going to tell me. Credits, cinematics, not logged in. No, it's not really going to tell me, um, which is too bad. So if you want proof, um, I'd have to shoot that if, or shoot that separately if you wanted me to. But right now I'm using OBS, the Open Broadcasting Suite, to record. And I've uh, just been playing around with that. And actually, sadly enough, my old beat up Logitech 134 mic is doing better than the newer one I bought, which headsets. I'm sorry, headsets are a crapshoot, and you probably already know that. But anyway, let's get into this, because what I want to do is just do basically a really short, not a short Let's Play series, but just kind of an ongoing Let's Play series with a game that I've been able to get work pretty well, working pretty well in Linux, through Steam, with mods. And yeah, Torchlight 2 works with mods in Linux, and the instant they released it, it did. And so that's why i kind of been waiting for this game to be released in Linux. I kind of figured they did, or they would, just because the original Torchlight they um, released for Linux right away. I kind of hoped it was just a matter of time. I actually don't even know what they developed this in. I don't know if this is the Torque Engine or if this is what have you or whatever. Oh, sorry for the mic noise. I'm just trying to get my hair out of my face. Okay, so check it out. On the right hand side here and insert big red ugly arrow there. Good. Okay, so we're looking at the mods currently installed and also looks at the most recent mods. Yes, Cat, I can hear you from here. We have uh, enhanced character creation, lore loading tips, synergies is installed, and it's the one that's currently on Steam. There is a newer version if you get it from their ma their main website. So if you do if you run Torchlight separately uh, in Linux, which you I don't see why you couldn't, um, then you're going to get a newer version if you install it manually. Um, but I'm keeping everything with the, with the Steam versions just so I can keep mod loading easy. Um, Zev's Pets, Synergy's High Loot, just to kind of give us a kickstart here. Again, I'm not the greatest video game player, so we're not we're not really like causing any huge problems here. Um, and then we got Arkham's Arm Armory, etc, etc. We got all sorts of stuff going on. Got it. So, good. So again, this is just to kind of prove that we can shoot video in Linux, because that's the name of the channel is Dead Linux Archives. There's a reason for that, because one of the things I've always wanted to do is kind of showcase Linux a little better. Um, and, you know, I've heard people say that Linux will eventually on the desktop go away. We have Windows 10 on the, you know, it's not even on the horizon anymore. It's released. And that's going to change everything, and hardware is going to be geared, so you can't install anything but Windows 10 and all that kind of stuff. Well, then that makes my channel a little bit more um, um, apropos, because then we're dealing with a dead operating system. No, we're not. We'll never deal with a dead operating system. I'll keep messing with stuff. So, okay, so what we got here is, uh, let's take a look at what we need. So, let's get into this Let's Play. Um, I don't really have any rules to this Let's Play. There are no rules. I'm just playing it for fun because I like it. So, we're dealing with uh, a couple additional classes here. The Tenebri class, I think that's more like a Necromancer kind of class, which I like. We may do that, but I think I actually have a Necromancer built in here. I do. I was playing around with him earlier. It's okay. I'm looking for what I used to have in Diablo 2, and we don't have that anymore, which is good. Uh, let's see. Ronin. Ronins are interesting. Uh, Ronin or Wave Man Woman is a traveling soldier who throws on the cause of their choice. Uh, it's Torchlight 2, and his samurai sword is glitching through his face. That's fine. It's mods, everybody. It's mods. But the one I want to use is Kenshi Kensai. 
Kinsai is part of, and Ronin is Ronin is as well. They're both part of the Far East pack, the complete pack. So if you're looking on Steam, look for the Far East complete. There is Far East Preview One and Preview Two. Basically, complete gives you both of those, and then you get all the classes installed, including the Mongol Archer and uh, Grandmaster and things like that. I think, I think the Grandmaster is part of that that pack. But the reason why I want to use the Kensai is because as I was reading up about it, the Kensai was actually designed for players who like two-handed swords, and two-handed swords and two-handed weapons in this game basically, unless you're an engineer, are pointless. It's almost better to use other weapons. But the Kensai brings it back, so that's where we're going to use it. Um, he looks a little too serious. Let's randomize this a little bit. Yes, we have enhanced character creation on. Ooh, he looks kind of interesting. We're going to keep him. So we're going to call him, we're going to call him Daryl. Go get him, Daryl. Yes, Daryl with an E. Why not? All right, so let's go next. All right, Daryl. So that is kind of a... Who is that? Is that this? No, that's not an avatar. Where is that one? Oh, it's one of these, isn't it? Ice elementals. Um, it's a poison elemental. That's gonna give somebody an epileptic fit. Um, I usually like to pick this guy as my, I hate to say pet, companion, because uh, he's cool. Uh, but no, let's not do that. Let's do, let's see, if I was doing the Dread Pirate, I'd just pick another skeleton, but we're not going to do the Dread Pirate. I could pick a horse. That's kind of cool, but you can't ride him, so why does he have a saddle on? Um, uh, maybe you can and some things have changed. I'm not going to take the risk. That seems like something that would cause things to break. Far East Expansion, should I take the panda? Good. I think that's a default Darkslight one, anyway. Yes, I hear you. Okay, so... We're using Zev's pets, so we might as well pick something that's not something we normally get. Um, yeah. And this is the one that usually pops up as the default every time. The Zealot, or the Dark Zealot. So, Ghost is cool. I kind of like that. Dragon. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Genie. Or Jin. He's got two... Yeah, he does. He can have a big... Big... Feather in his cap, or not. <laughs> oh, the stag's kind of neat. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. We got a couple different color choices here, so let's pick one. Oh, reindeer games. No, that looks like he's got to take a bath. Oh, that one's kind of cool. But the white stag. That seems appropriate. Okay, so Pia is the pet name. Let's not use Pia. Let's randomize this. Not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Uh, Dodie? No. Professor? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, we're gonna have the professor. Let's actually put the the in front of it just so it's official. The professor. So we got Daryl and the professor. All right. So I'm gonna actually take this to veteran because synergies is kind of designed for that. I'm gonna regret this later because I suck. But uh, let's do it. So far, so good. And we're in Linux, which I love. I love being in Linux to do this. Blah, 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 Alchemist, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're done. All right, so here's the Kensi. Kensai. I as far as I can go. You do? Really? You carry on to the Asterian Enclave. I should? But you're on your own. Okay. Warn them that the Alchemist... Okay, I'm... You have gained a quest. Okay, I'm going to turn down the volume. It's going to get a little glitchier for a second. There we go. Don't mind me. Um, okay, so basically, if you've never played Torchlight 2 before, then this is not the one you want to watch. This is not the playthrough you want to see, because I'm not going to be... I'm going to skip a lot of the, the messages, a lot of the voice acting, unless I like it. But we're basically playing this as someone who has played the basic game. You understand the basic mechanics. You've played through multiple levels. And the only thing is I've never really beat this game, just because I usually play far enough in it, and it is a little bit repetitive. But with the mods loaded in it, we're hoping that maybe that'll make a difference. Now, Kensai, or Kensei, however you want to say it, has four skill trees. And I've tried to figure out what the best one is here to kind of figure it, to do it. Um, the last one here, the Lotus Wave. Okay, so the Lotus Wave goes from point to point to point to point. So you basically have to have points in all these to make them work. So as you can see here, this is the beginning one. So this is uh, just to kind of ex show you what happens with the Kensai and where he's a little bit complicated. Is the, the last skill tree here depends on other skills because, for example, if you've ever played Ragnarok online, Ragnarok had a character called the Monk. And there was the uh, guillotine 
slash or the guillotine punch and to do that you had to execute all the moves in order up to the guillotine punch to pull it off it took a lot of work to get there and really unless you were doing pvp and you really knew what you were doing it was hard to do but in this uh with kensai it's the same kind of deal we have this particular move here it's got a cooldown what it's supposed to work like is you throw this one down then you throw this one down does this does not do anything unless you've activated intimidating cut within the past three seconds right then we have that then we have this pommel strike within the last three seconds okay follow me so far heavenly slash was in the last three seconds nowhere to run and finally mesmerizing blade <clears throat> which means you have to go one two three four five six and punch and you better have them all hit they don't have to hit, but you have to you have to have blown those skills in order for it to work. I tried this. I'm not that smart. We may skip this entire skill tree. But if you want to have a lot more complicated of torchlight experience, take a look at the Kensai, and it's from the Far East pack because you get this, and I don't think there's any other character in torchlight that does this. It's actually pretty interesting. So the other three are just like you think. We've got the Way of the Blade, where we have some skills that we can throw. Um, we can, you know, close the distance. This is a rushing in tactic. Arterial strike. It's another attack. Souls. The art of inner perfection. This is where we can add uh, elemental skills to it. Ooh, you must die. Uh, there's a couple of buffs in here we do need to grab. I must live is one of them. You must die is not necessarily the other one. But there's another one where we need to make sure we keep gaining HP because he can be a glass cannon real quick. And then we have all these other passive buffs for the purpose, the way of the moon, uh, I'm sorry, the way, the moonlit path, the perfect action, purpose is all of these. They actually did a lot of effort in this, in this mod. Uh, let's see, so hardened, you get a plus to that, 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 you get a plus to that. Requires two-handed sword, if you noticed all of those, so we do need to basically commit to the sword which is the whole idea of the Kensei class. So we are not going to use, well, I'm just trying to think, we might use this first one, but man, look at all this stuff. It's just hard to get there. This one we may use, Scorpion style. Imbue yourself with the power of the Bushi. Whenever you dodge an attack, you summon random clouds of poison to damage your foes. That one seems like it might be useful. But anyway, okay, enough talk, let's move. Um, now I could buy starting skills here. If I have any money, I have a hundred bucks. So if I wanted to buy starting items, this I think is something from another mod. Nothing I really want to buy here, so we're going to just keep on moving. Come on! Come on, Professor! Let's go! Let's kill stuff. So I can do a basic slash, and then I got this, which is just... What do you think? It's a spammable slash attack. Would you just die? Go! Dang it! There we are. Old going on. Um, this actually, I do want to see... They usually have the whites turned off. I kind of want to turn the whites back on. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Yeah, let's, let's, I want to see everything for a while. We'll turn these off later because they'll get annoying. But right now I want to see all the whites. Let's do resume. And actually, what I'm going to do quickly here, um, pause here. I'm going to pause, check the video, come back, and make sure all my video and audio levels are doing okay. So hold on for just a second. Let me save my game. I'm going to quit quick. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I was just checking some audio levels. I did find out I was clipping a little bit at the top. I apologize for that with those with delicate ears. Forgive me, I'm uh, switching back to a mic I haven't used in a while. I'm using a software that I'm not familiar with, and I'm in Linux. So, you know what? Just give me a break. Alright. Yes, we can play this game, because it does include fishing, by the way, in case anybody says so. Also, too, the OBS Broadcasting Suite. And if you Google it, or if you look for it online, it is available in Windows as well. But it does have a, a streaming component, so if you like to stream on Twitch, then this makes it easier to do in Linux. Okay, so... God, that sounded like it hurt. Die! Die! Die out of my way! That almost... Wow, does that really make that soil? So so soiled? does and you eat through the MP. Oof, okay. A it's a trap! Run, the professor! Floating fist. What does that look like? Ooh, it's a claw. Interesting. Okay. 
What do I have for stuff? I've got boots. I've got a helmet. This is a great start. Alright, let's go. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. I am playing on veteran. I usually play on normal. So maybe that's part of the problem. So since I am playing on a harder difficulty than I normal, normally play on, what I might do is we're going to go down that path for a lot of the passive upgrades. And then give me... Give me, give me self one attack. I can't even talk. Goodness. All right, come here. I forgot everything. No, 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 no. I'm dying a little bit. We need to get the one where I get HP back, like post haste. Especially since we're starting to run into ratlins that are elite. Okay, cool. So now we can start taking a look to see what we need. Alright, so I do want him to be a melee-based attacker. Man, he's evened out. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10? Are you kidding? Um, okay. So what I've seen people do is 2, 2, 1 and skip focus. That seems like a good way to go. Let's do that. Next, we're going to do... I want to be more crit-based. A little bit, anyway. So let's do... I've got five points. So I could, I could do two, two, 